and another lovely morning up here at Twin Lakes. Good morning to everybody. Uh, today marks day 11 of the bus build. I scored an awesome swivel seat for the front passenger that doesn't exist right now. Uh, so I'm just driving up to Kelowna to get that and I also have to go to town to get some supplies such as paint and, and electrical wires and all that sort of fun stuff. So uh, Robert's gonna be working on grinding away rust and going from there just in the back area of the bus and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Bye. I got everything I needed for the most part it's in the car. The car is loaded. I had to make a quick side of the road pit stop, but I thought I'd show you the view because it's freaking gorgeous here. Okanagan Lake, beautiful day for a beautiful drive. These uh, squares represent possible spots for the new chair that I am going to get. Robert in the 360 swivel new passenger chair, this is how it would look roughly facing into the cabin. Doing a dry fit for the chair that we just bought. Looks like I can just cut a channel out and it'll fit around the beams, the joists inside the bus and it should sit in there perfectly. I'm still able to bolt into these brackets along here into the main frame of the bus, so. All right, I cut the channel out. I'll have to sand it and clean it up a little bit, but I'm gonna plop it in place and see if it fits. So, look at that. It goes through that channel on both sides, down there, and like that. That's its final resting place. We're not gonna fasten it yet. I uh, decided just to weld in an extra bracket across here so the chair fits perfectly in this space with that bar cutting through it. Uh, this gives me an additional attachment a point uh, to, sure that, to ensure that it's very secure. Okay, this is uh, just some dry fits for the back area of the bus so that we can walk around and do some more painting, but basically I'm notching out these pieces to fit around some of this um, chair rails. Uh, and I cut out, I drill out holes in the corners so that you can navigate the jigsaw around there. Can the floor dry fit it in and Robert's painting away there. I just had to cut the weirdest shape for this last section of the bus, so let's see if it fits. Fingers crossed. Good news, it fit mostly. I just had to shave a little bit. End of day 11 update. Uh, today felt like we got over a hump and it feels amazing. I'm really proud of the work that Robert and I have done. Uh, yeah, the bus is looking rad. The floors are all in. We've got the second chair in, uh, full 360 revolution in it. Uh, it's got the seat belt, totally bolted to the frame. It's amazing. Uh, so I'm um, just sitting it facing in towards the bus. Uh, but this is what my view looks Yeah, so pretty happy with what we got accomplished today. And from the other side, you can see all the floors in. Again, nothing's uh, attached fully yet, but it's all cut and placed. Uh, that chair, I cut it and installed it. Uh, but again, we're gonna bolt it into place, but it worked out perfect. I'm so happy with it. That is all for day 11. Till tomorrow.